Hi there, and welcome. You're watching the Mechanical SLR Lounge, and today what I have is a Yashica FX2. Uh, this camera went into production in 1976. Um, the end date I couldn't find, um, but it has a focal plane shutter, and uh, the shutter speeds go from bulb and one second all the way through to a thousandth of a second. Uh, the ASA dial goes from 12 to 1600, uh, and it has a flash sync speed of uh, 60th of a second or below. The uh, Film Advance lever has a pretty decent throw. It's not the smoothest that I've felt, um, but it does the job well. Um, it does tend to jam up a few sometimes. Um, as you can see there, I did a full rotation and I still couldn't fire the shutter so sometimes you'll have to do a little bit extra. Um, and a cool feature of this camera is the fact that you can actually do a ratcheting motion to cock the shutter. So if you have particularly small thumbs, I suppose that could be useful. Um, it does also have a uh, self timer for, of approximately uh, 10 seconds, uh, depth of field preview, um, hot shoe, and a flash port if you're using a uh, handheld flash. Um, it does also have through the lens metering using a cadmium sulfide uh, photo cell. Uh, you can see the on and off switch right here just below the uh, film rewind uh, dial. So on will activate the uh, exposure meter, off will deactivate it. Um, to use it within the viewfinder on the right hand side, there is a uh, visible needle um, with a plus and a minus. So when you have the needle in between the plus and minus, that will theoretically be uh, the correct exposure. Um, the cadmium sulfide photocells do tend to degrade over time. Um, it does tend to vary quite a bit from manufacturer to manufacturer, but um, the guy that I bought this off of was using the um, exposure meter and said it worked quite well. Um, another neat feature is the depth of field preview does not need the shutter to be cocked in order to, for it to be used. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but if you can, you can see that the shutter is not cocked and I can still use the depth of field preview, um, which is handy. Uh, another very useful feature of this camera is the fact that it takes the Contax Yashica or the CY uh, mount, um, sorry, lens mount, um, which is also compatible with the uh, Carl Zeiss lenses, which are um, very high-end, very sought-after uh, vintage glass. So this is a very, very good, um, cheap way to get into those lenses. I paid, I think it was $60 for this camera. Um, and as you can see, it's in very, very nice shape. That included the lens, by the way, uh, which I will talk about uh, more specifically in a later video. Um, you can even see on the inside here, the uh, foam for the mirror is in very good shape. I'm not sure if it's been replaced, um, but again, just to highlight the fact that uh, this camera's in, I'd say, near mint condition, and uh, I paid very, very little for it. Um, one issue I do have sometimes is it has a uh, shutter squeak, but only at a 60th of a second, and it's irregular. So I'm not really sure what that's about. I've tried doing some research on it, and I couldn't really find anything. Um, but I guess I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, to open the back of the camera, it's very similar to most other uh, vintage cameras in that you pull up the film rewind knob, like so. The back will pop open. And there's the back of the camera. You've got the pressure plate, um, the take-up spool, you have the guide here, uh, your shutter, and then the uh, compartment for the film canister. Um, as I said before, it's a focal plane shutter. I'm not sure if it's made of cloth or some type of woven metal. Um, 
there really isn't that much information on this on the internet. Um, it's not a particularly popular camera, um, but that's honestly a good thing because it helps keep the price down. Um, especially lately since uh, lockdown and COVID and everything, I feel like the prices of uh, vintage cameras have gone up substantially. Um, for good reason. Um, they're highly reliable. Um, they were quite cheap. And um, it's really good fun. Um, actually, just recently I bought a secondhand uh, digital mirrorless camera. And um, it no longer works after two weeks. So this is about 40 years old and it's still trucking along just fine. So that just kind of goes to show you um, how well these things are built. Um, it is fully mechanical. Um, obviously for the light meter, uh, you do need a battery. It takes a 1.3 volt uh, mercury battery down here. Um, personally, I don't use the in-body light meter. I just use an app um, on my phone because uh, you can't buy mercury batteries anymore. And the um, similar cells that you can get that will replicate the voltage of the mercury batteries are rather inconsistent and pretty expensive. Um, so I would just rather use a free app. Um, you also have the uh, mount here, if you want to put your camera on a tripod. Uh, this is the uh, film release button, so once you go through your whole roll of film, you would press that. Pull up this little lever, and then wind your film until you feel uh, no resistance, and then do a couple more winds after that to make sure it's fully in the canister. And then you just pop open the back like I showed you before. Um, but yeah, that just about covers it. Um, thanks for watching. This is my first ever video, so I apologize if it's a little bit, uh, rough, but hopefully I'll get better at this as time goes on. Um, yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching and, uh, take care.